Hey, with the two pieces on. Perfect, oh, hey, oh, okay. Shout out to Dave's Low. Perfect. My name is Jamie D and I'm here at Essence Fest with Jacob Lattimore. Yo, this is America's heartthrob right here. How you doing, man? Oh, man, that's what they saying. That's what they saying, man. That's what social media saying. Listen, <laughs> you see? We good? I'm good. I'm doing great. We're out here with the two pieces on. Oh, okay. Shout out to Dave's Low. All right, man, so we're at Essence Fest. What brings you here today? Uh, we're promoting the shine, man, and I'm just enjoying the concerts. It's really kind of a great time to just step outside and you know, see, see, see your people. Right. You know, stuff. Now look, I'm actually from Chicago. Shout out to the West Side. You not from Chicago though. Milwaukee. You from Milwaukee. Okay. It's still, you know, Midwest, so you know, we're here. We're here. About an hour. About an hour. So how do you tap into the local native Chicagoan when you're actually on set doing what you do? I just, um, I'm just thinking about the Midwest in general. I mean, you know, uh, shout out to my cast. They, they, you know, most of my cast are from Chicago. Hannah, who plays my baby mom on the show, Tiff. 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 Um, <laughs> Chicago, yes, just her mannerisms, everything she does, I just feed off of that. Uh, Rolando, we got the mobs, she's from Chicago. Uh, you know, Mikey, Siobhan. So a lot of our cast is surrounded. Right. And me also being from the West helps. Yeah. But Chicago's yeah. a specific place. So I mean, it helps. Like, my cast is Lena. Lena. Lena, because I met her actually at Essence Fest in 2018, and she fired. Yeah. Fired. So look, you do more than just acting. Let us know exactly what all do you do, because you're multifaceted. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I started out doing music. Um, I, I was doing music. I started out doing music like nine years old. Uh, doing film. I was still doing film, but I, I, I've leaned back on film a lot more lately. I think overall, I just don't worry about my brand overall. I don't worry about just music. It's just everything. You know what I mean? I might host, host something. You might catch me hosting something. Right. So I used to look at like the, the Usher Chris Brown kind of career. But now I'm thinking about more like Will Smith or you know, Jamie Foxx or. Uh, a Drake. Right. You know, right. Something like that. The greats. Yeah, yeah. So, you're one of them, man. Thank you, bro. You're welcome. Thank you. So, look, I'm media personality, do acting, all stuff like that as well, but we know that there's a favorite. So, what is your favorite out of everything you do? Favorite? You gotta be honest. It depends on the project. It depends. Like, um, I mean, each film could be, you might have a, a certain love, it might just meet you where you're at in that life a little different than that other film. You know? Here, I'll make it easier for you. What do you like more, acting or singing? It's the same. You can do it? It's the same thing. Same thing? It's okay. A, it's just expression. You know, I think music, I can be more myself. It's just kind of fun to do, like, after you've been playing other roles for so long. But film is just as fun, especially when you're like, oh, people can't do right. that. I can't do that. Right. Right. I'm, I'm smiling. I'm a nice guy. Right. I like it. It's, it's fun to be able to, like, surprise me. Like, right, you're crazy. So it was this film called Dully, and I did. I really enjoyed it. So I'm going to do it. It's like a word of mouth film. If you've seen it, you see it, if you didn't, you didn't. Right. You know, it's, uh, I think the character itself, I don't think people would expect it. Yeah. So it's, it was dope. Nice. So we were both actually just in a panel discussion together, and they kept asking you questions about, you know, you being so great at what you do, a dance, being an actor, just that, because you are good, man. But how do you take the time out of your day to actually be personal, do what you like to do, you know? Forget acting, forget singing. What do you do, and how do you do it and find that time to do it? All the time. I think, I think that's where I'm pouring inspiration. That's the only way to, to tap into the characters on like, the best way. You gotta live. So I, I mean, any chance I get, I'm, like every year I try to take my uh, castmates out on the yacht after we. Uh, I get an invite. <laughs> COVID restrictions. Oh, all of a sudden that's and boosted. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Is, um, but I, I, I love to uh, just just do something that just reflects on after all the hard work we did. And we just look at the city and just vibe out and stuff. You know, right. I need it for myself too. I'm like, y'all might as well come on. Facts. And you know, in LA, they got the events and the parties. So we'll be out here. So, look, we got one more question for you. There's so many actors and singers and people just in the industry who look up to you. What two things that you can give them as advice? Um, two things uh, enjoy the process. And just keep going. You don't feel every emotion. You don't feel everything. You don't get depressed. You can be sad. You can be happy. You know, it's not like it's not this smooth road. You know, so uh, I think that's that's the best advice I can give you. It's just it's the reality of it. 
Hey y'all, y'all heard it right here with Jimmy D at Essence Fest in New Orleans with Jacob Lattimore, y'all. Yeah. Hey, thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. It's Essence. What's up? What's up? Screaming. Perfect.